It's Vampire Survivor's time as Will Pugnala finally conquer the Bone Zone after oh god how many knows many attempts. Let's look at what my available options are. Terrible. Who could have guessed that? And yet this is still my best one. Bracelet. Bracelet, huh? Well, that's a terrible idea. And yet, it's my best idea. Because things will be all over the place, and Bracelet will shoot them. Sadly, this actually is better. Not words you want to say. The run was saved by Bracelet. So, it's going to be Candle Arbor Empty Tome, and the Tear Jisoo. Because I don't really think anything else could even remotely work. Because I've tried everything else and it's failed miserably. One more projectile is one more explosion. Base damage up 5 is worthless, but so is the other pickups. I've tried Bouncy, I've tried Sun Old Sanctuary Net, I have tried. Plenty of things. I've tried going full defensive with Cerebonde. I've tried going maximum damage with Spinach and Taronis Box. But it's all failed because I just don't have the area clear after a while because of the way the guns fire. Enemies will just close in on you through the paths you carve. That's what Bracelet's going to be for. Yay, Bracelet. Will it actually last long enough to evolve? Probably not. Then again, if you're listening to this, it might. Okay, it's more area than Torona's box offers. Will it be enough? Cause problems for the big bad skeleton waves. Somehow, yes, it's doing a lot better. Then again, these are the easier ones when enemies still go down in just a couple touches. And most things don't get in. Well, increasing the area really helped out. I already feel the effect. Jeez, just 25% more. And of course, there's a boss in my face. But will this last for the rest of it? Yeah, if only we're Gyoru Tan Dan. Your Run Tan Dan. Good old Bog Bob. I'll brace it up. And now for the plot twist. Red Muscle, or Pharaoh the Turo, ate the Sparrow, number two. Well, don't want to touch that. He is going to get limit broke. So I don't really have a choice otherwise. Just would be too weak otherwise. Otherwise, otherwise. Okay, yeah, Candle Arbor is definitely showing off to be a lot better than Toronto's box. I can rely on her innate might increase to compensate for the damage, since I'll get enough levels to actually do something. And it blows up light sources. Maybe I should have gotten Greatest Jubilee. Man, give me some upgrades to the red gun. Oh man, I can really feel the area effect here. Things are actually going safe. When they've been a lot dangerous, as it is. Fero. Fera der Tuflo. Fera der Tuflo. I don't need might on the bullets, just the heart of fire proc. Because that's what's doing everything. I mean, does it actually increase off my area or the guns? I suppose it never really matters. They're mostly the same. Most of da, 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 da. Yes, amount. Delicious amount. Might. 
don't want speed. Speed is basically pointless. Oh, this is going a lot better. Can't say I'm... Can't say I was expecting Bracelet and Counter Labrador to be the winning combination, it seems. Then again, I have to survive this nightmare. Yeah, well, it's doing pretty well. I haven't lost a revive yet. More mount. More mount. Uh oh. Ah, dang. The bone towers damage when you actually get touched by them is ridiculous. Okay. Should have cleaved off enough of a path. Can wait out. Good. Don't go near those dang bone towers again. Okay, the panther skeletons. I'm not even sure if they're panther skeletons or I'm just using a weird Castlevania break off to get it. That's what I'm calling them now. You know, which I've always called them. Good. More pierce. More area. Hmm. How does that interact? Oh well. More area on blue gun is not helpful. Blue gun is basically not helpful at all. Can candy boxes show up? Four evolution chests. Oh, Pierce, might as well. Pierce the heavens while I'm here. Might? Of course might. Why not might? Alright, this might actually be enough to get through. I can get the evolution chest. Get bracelet up to try bracelet. And of course, and most importantly, stay away from the bloody stalker. Oh man, the blade skeletons. So dangerous. Well, I've got three revives on the back end, so that's good. Kind of skull. Give me your precious jewels. Did you go down? No, you got pushed back. I should have more than enough damage to take you out that faster than this. But it's not happening. Arg. Stalker showed off, that's why. Okay, there's the evolution chest. Stalker got banished. Good. Uh oh, bone. Tower, shoot, doom. Okay, what are my options here? Gemini, double shots. So shoots more. I think bouncy shots would be better though. That's three per. I can save awake for later. Bouncy shots, I'm a lot better. Oh no. Oh man, I really should have grabbed awake. On the other hand, it's coming together. It's coming together. If I can just survive this, get to the second arcana, get awake again, get by bracelet or try bracelet. And then it causes the trouble, the endless trouble of destruction. Might. Mount. I'm out. Speed. 
Uh, this is going to be a dicey one. Skin of the teeth win. And then I have worse on the back end. There's my try bracelet. Try bracelet. Save me try bracelet. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful try bracelet. Oh, just look at the sheer difference that is brought onto this challenge. Maybe I'll just go hard of fire for everyone, even if the other characters don't need it. They could still have a burning heart of fire in victory. And it is time to limit break like mad. Get that area up as big as possible. I want it covering the whole screen at all times. Let nothing get in without being breathed upon. And the bolts, I can see that they're bigger. The red ones are bigger than blue, but still. For how badly I'm favoring it. Still not that sizable. Again, it only takes four to equal one level of candle door. So, could be worse. And look at that tri bracelet go. Not even the blade masters are getting that in. Yeah, it just creates a wall of breath that they can't break through when combined with Heart of Fire. And yet I still get hurt because I'm incompetent boobery. What would I even get from my chest? Candy box? I suppose the option to evolve is there. And would just sink the run immediately. It's 30 minutes, isn't it? It's right there on the level, the stage select screen, yet I keep not selecting it. Or checking it in advance. Oh, hey. I didn't think there were any amounts or pierces left for Red Gun. Vero de Furlo. Vera de Turlo. Vera de Turlo. You know what? I'll say it again. Bracelet is terrible as a single weapon, as Dex would more than well agree. But as a side piece, it is excellent. Just look at how much this changed with Bracelet. Well, actually, you can't see because I'm not putting up those failed videos. They're already deleted. But I can tell because I'm actually getting to a double-digit counter. Huh, I'm out one. Little wing guys, so troublesome. Yet now they're not. Heck, I'm getting bullets. They're probably actually going away because they run out of things to hit instead of running out of counter by hitting things. Might, 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 might. And of course Pugnala makes it all better. Well, more amount is good amount. Oh boy. And yet she's not going to be the worst. I don't know why I thought going triple bone zone would be a good idea. But here we are. Da, da, da. Here yeah, here yeah. Man, it's blowing up huge chunks of the screen now. See how big that was? Gigantic. Uh oh. Oh man, if this one's not going down fast. And the ones coming in later won't either. Oh, it's awake time. Hi, Drowner. How's it going? Area. More chestin. 
Yeah, they're only getting in because I lack coverage in certain circumstances, not because they're breaking through damage-wise. And that can be fixed just by moving a bit more. Still, things could get worse. Alright, Kana Chest should be spawning in soon if it's not here already. Well, chest isn't, but a skull might be. I mean, it should be. Uh oh. Oh, blood skeletons. Okay, circular movements. I'm gonna rely on the bracelet to protect my weaker points. As I always did. There's the arc chest, and I gear up my sweet, sweet awake. Oh, you are so... So niche, yet so necessary to compensate for my play and style of bad. Did I get hit by that? Uh, Red Bone Towers boss variant. Or big variant, boss variant. Oh, well, the corners are safe. Can't do much else, though. You despawning yet, or do I have to destroy you? Hey, more amount. Good. Okay, wiped out the wave. Hmm. You know, I've never seen how big the gun shots bullets can get. Usually don't want it for too long like this. It's only extremely niche circumstances like what you're seeing before you that you would want it. Oh man, it's going straight to the 30, isn't it? You'd think I'd learn after all this time. Okay, well my damage is good enough to keep up with it. Just the area clearance can be a bit dicey. Still, uh, the wing guys are surprisingly durable for their size, so... It might be good. Sweet, more mount. Wasn't expecting to have to rely on tri bracelet of all things, but here we are. Okay. Alright, these are big bad skeletons. Will you survive? Not very long. Good, 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 good. You're about one of the worst waves that could be. And not even the final one would be able to survive this much power shoved into it. Okay, yeah, I think I finally got the winning run. Boy, that was too close to double digit failures. Oh, double amount. And I still have more characters to go on the back end. This is going to be super tight. I could just go to baby stages instead of doing triple bone zone. That would be the much smarter idea. Or I could get three bone zones out of the way. Well, I suppose it's time for a test run. On the other hand, bone zone is super long. And I made this super long because I had to keep limit breaking specific weapons. As seen. Oh, yeah, now that I think about it, I could have gone uh, not limit break. And, you know, taking the chickens that way and survived. But frankly, I wasn't getting here the limit break range all that often anyway. Oh, still snuck in a hit, huh? Okay, here comes the final minute. I got four revives. A ton of damage. And as they press in, they're going to hit more bullets bouncing back into their faces. So if they hit me, they're going to be hurting in response. Man, though. 
considering I end up with 184 might, they're still getting way too close for comfort. But that is Pugnala down on the bone zone in the third wave challenge. Three weapons, three arcana, three passives. It was a very difficult one, but Heart of Fire and Tri Bracelet out of nowhere really, really saved the day. I mean, it says Heart of Fire's damage is pathetic, but that is not true in practice. It's just weird. Wait, 15. Why is it desynced? I mean, I know I'm on hyper, so... Or I know I'm on hurry, so it should be halved. But it isn't synced with the survive time. That's weird. Time to delve into the bone zone with Giovanna. Will Disco of Gold save me? Probably not. Come on, cats. Wipe them out. Give me that sweet, sweet... Stuff I need. Greatest Jubilee. Okay. Empty Tome. And Garlic. Yep, this should be enough. And that'll keep spawning in new light sources for me, which means more health and more... Well, means more coins, which means more health, which means more bags, which means more gold fevers, which means I'm invincible. Okay, let's max out garlic, get ahead of the curve to get all the XP I can. Tome doesn't affect garlic, but it does affect the other two. Boy, it's already not wiping them out in one hit, huh? Makes quite a few hits, in fact. Way too many hits. And that's not a good start. Money bags. There we go. You know, Garlic doesn't do much damage by base, but man, I was expecting to do something more like one shot on skeletons. Uh, cat? Cats? Uh, maybe Victory Sword would have been better. I've seen a lot of Jubilees, though, recently, huh? And that's all in footage that's never going to see the light of day. Zoom, zoom, recycle bin. Get off the computer. Okay. It is a lot better than how it's been going. Yeah, until a boss shows up in my face. Nice heal off that. down up. All right, I think I'm going to go Cerebonde for my Arcana. Probably the best effect there. Gives me healing and gives me damage. All right, one more level on Yield greatest jubilee. Uh, I worry about my damage at the end, though. And my damage is healing. Well, we'll see how it goes. Money, 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 money. Money. Wait. Oh, I don't have the finisher yet. Weird. Thought I did. There we go. Yeah, the bottom of the screen is going to forever be clear. Or should be. K. 
Cat's up next. And it'll spawn in light sources for me. Cat's maxed. Alright. This might be the winning run, finally. Damage from Greatest Jubilee is okay. And between cats. Well, once I have Vicious Hunger, I'm basically invincible as it is. Well, I should not have grabbed all of those at once. Should have spaced them out. Alright. Greatest Jubilee area? That's a good idea. If it covers the whole map, then I'm invincible. What does speed even do for it? Heck, I ran into Bone Tower and I'm still alive! Yay! And I don't have to do anything other than get scoring against Stalker and the boss that drops the evolution chest. Big Skelly Boy. Hmm. Da -da -da -da. Get the area up. The more area it has, the better it is for I. Wait. Why did I default to I? Is that actually right? I mean, normally I have to consciously think about it. Hmm. Better for me versus better for I. I have it better, or me have it better. Probably is I, huh? Better for him. Better for him. That is better for him. Better for her, better for he. He is better. Hmm. I guess it's going much smoother than with Shadow Pinion or Victory Sword. And now comes the problematic part, though. Trying to take out that boss so I can get Endless Hunger and really kick this off. What? Did Stalker get pushed away already? That can't be right. No, no, there it is. Just very slow. No. Oh, just barely enough speed to get through that. There's Arcana Skull. And there's my good old invincibility mode. Alright, boss, I don't have that much damage. Oh wow, Stalker's already gone. Can't take it be taken out by bullets. Now I can run circles around these two and get their sweet, sweet, juicy innards. Gotta suck the marrow from their bones. They still have use for me. <laughs> Ooh, endless hunger. Might turn anything into gold. And now, it's Bond, eh? I can do this. And random always as well. Ah, the Discord Gold Buzzsaw of Destruction. Don't you just love to see it? Plus it has garlic too. Like if I had on Holy Vespers, it'd be even more crazy. Oh well, I'm gonna go punch an Atlantean in the face.
I think. Which is the closest to strength any of these runs have come so far. She's no Sammy, but she's definitely going to have a boost to her effectiveness rating. Alright, almost the first of my Atlantean. Cross off the lists. Alright, there you go. Now get the business. It's not a lot of damage, but it's consistent. And there's nothing it can do to stop me. It's basically as close to stunlocked as you can get without actually being stunlocked. Yeah. You know, I don't know if it's just come up in any actual video I got posted. It's really hard to tell. 100, almost 150 episodes in. But you know, roots in World of Warcraft don't actually root you. Well, they root you. It's just they decrease your movement speed by like 200% or 300% or 400% or whatever. So effectively making you immobile, but if you get the movement speed up high enough, you can still move during them. You're not bloody likely to do that, but it can happen in extremely niche circumstances. And that's the story of how I was able to move during the high beam. Oh, surviving so long. I've got three minute gold fever that just expired. Oh, and of course I run right into the dang thing. And then I run right into another gold fever. Woo! I mean, eventually the damage is going to fall off. And I'm not going to be able to run it as long as in the end against the much tougher enemies. Still, it will keep me going. And I will have full awake powers by then. So hopefully that's enough to get through that final death wave. And if not, I have a slight stat increase, which will almost assuredly be curse. Because why would it be anything but curse? Alright, and I can use treasure chest as a heal. So I can do that as well. And a full heal too. Well, there'll always be a full heal. But a bigger full heal because of Cerebonde. And I get a full health bar back because I have Cerebonde on the resurrection. No oh, skeleton boss high. Bye. Well, I guess not by. The damage is still pretty lousy. But it takes out the fodder well enough. I'm not exactly sure how much stronger they're getting. In fact, I'm barely getting stronger because they keep eating the gems. So eventually they will do bad things. Man, this Atlantean is surviving way too long. How long ago did I fight find it? Oh, hey, there's this skull that gets me my sweet, sweet awake arcana. Precious awake arcana. You are the only thing keeping any of these runs viable. I rely on you too much, but also I need to rely on you. Like a joystick. Joystick of victory. Is that an NFT? No. Can't get NFTs. It's only gold here. As this is very well demonstrating on screen for you. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. The man, I knew the damage was bad, but I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. Also, I am definitely not getting any experience gems. 
Though I shouldn't have gone limit break, I should have gone level up. Regular level ups. Except that wouldn't have helped anyway, because I'm not getting any level ups at all. Man. This is not boding well for the end level. So where's that dang Arcana Skull already? My knockback's great. It might not save me in the end, though. Uh-oh. There we go. Awake. Alright, four revivals. I get stronger off of each one. I get full heals with each. That should be enough to survive through that final doom wave. Plus, I can sit near these chests and power up off of them. Or full heal off them if things get super dicey. Oh, hey, I actually got a level up. Got a few level ups, actually. Five. Nice. I mean, I could extend this by going into that chest. Hey. hey. Uh oh. Yep. I have the gold fever. Things get a risky. They get really risky. Okay, I'll sit near this bag. Which, hopefully they don't grab. Cause issues. Okay, well it's not great. It's still enough to survive for now. Do they grab bags? They convert it to regular cash or they bag it for me? Huh, I don't know how they interact with it. No, they eat everything else. Causes problems. Most other characters, you don't have disco gold. And of course, Sammy just Sammy's his way through all of this with no trouble. But Sammy is not a caterpillar. If Sammy even is a caterpillar. Someday, as you never know. Okay, closing it on the worst of the worst. Okay, if even the 28's not getting in, then the 29 shouldn't either, and I have four revives. Okay, looking like a win. It took a bit of doing, more than I really care to say. But it looks like it's finally over. Until I have to do the next character. Yep, they're not getting in. And if they are, I get healed. Or I was getting healed. Uh oh. Pop that heal up. Hey, Gold Fever, you will save me. Right? Right? Yeah, just barely. Wheel. Awake once again saves the day. 8.1 million on the Greatest Jubilee. Take that, Vicious Hunger. You could absolutely have compared with enough time. At last, we come to the end of this episode as Papaya heads back into the Bone Zone for one last time. Here, which one did I want? No. No, this is off to a good start. <laughs> Actually, probably Boogaloo for what I'm planning. No, Silent Old Sanctuary. That gets me the most bang for the buck. It already showing off its power. Reminder. Let's get that slow a going. Of course, Cherry Bomb shows up. I'll well, start bashing stuff I don't want. Like Whip. That's got high priority. I'll let Song of Man up while I'm here. No, oh, Spellbinder's gonna be here. I'm gonna grab it. Here's my first skull and my only skull. Too dangerous not to have the evolution too dangerous to upgrade the skull any further. So it is getting banished. 
As soon as it shows back up, jeez. Oh, I missed you so much, Silent Old Sanctuary with one weapon. Hey look, King Bible. And I actually selected the right move. Now to select the other right move. Pomerola. Guess what my final's gonna be. Even though I should have gotten Empty Tome instead, since it would have helped out more. But I wanted the area of complete invincibility. Instead. Now you get stuck with this. And her constantly increasing duration. Oh, this is a lot simpler than it's been. It's nice. After Pagnala's uphill struggle and Giovanna's bad luck into eventual victory, just running into dudes completely unstoppable is a very nice change of pace. If I can one-shot this, it would be very good actually getting this video out on a timely fashion. Ooh, Silver Wind. Silver Wind. Did I banish Garlic on accident? No, it just hasn't shown up for some reason. Don't need any of you. I don't want to waste all my rerolls. I have a feeling I'm going to need all of them for Arcanine. Silver Wind again, huh? Hey, I didn't have Spellbinder Max. Ah, uh, this is going so much better. <laughs> and I won't have to worry about the Bone Towers. Oh, Shadow Server, that's an option that I won't take. So I'm not picking the... I already banished the Skull. Pomerola. Good old Pomerola. Bye-bye, God Amari. God Amari. Mirage robe? You being in the game is a mirage. There's garlic. Showing off. Alright, let's go fight an Atlantean. It's nice to have a invincible death zone again. Between the three of them, it should be more than enough to take care of the end, and if not, well, I can just go grab Blood Astronomia. And that should be more than enough. Wait, does Blood Astronomia affect everything? I know it's garlic, since I just showed off a video with that. And you'd think being this far in, I'd know more offhand. But I'm pumping out so much content. I did a thumbs up that you couldn't see. That it's hard to keep up with the Joneses, as they say in the olden days. Ah. Good old victory. Alright, Atlantean. You're the Moon Atlantean in the Bone Zone. Let's see what you got. Nothing? Nothing. Hey look, a bunch of shooter towers that aren't going to accomplish a bloody thing. Whoever could have seen that coming against this build. Oh wait, they actually did damage. Just because they're so strangely durable, I ran into them. And of course that happens. Okay, new plan. Avoid everything till they despawn by going down. What? How? What? What hit me? What possibly could have hit me? I didn't run into any of them. Okay, well, Pomerola will mean I get health back. And eventually I should take down this. 
They haven't despawned yet. Oh, random always. Oh, not like I have a choice. No, I do have a choice. But it's pointless choice. Like Tails of Zillia too. Aha, the power of choice, more like the power of nothing you do matters. I hate that game so much. You know I'm tired if I'm ranting about things I hate instead of other things I hate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Speaking of things to like, Vampire Survivors. Oh, so close to the next DLC, oh yeah. day is it? I do believe it is Oste. Alright, there's Stalker. There's the boss who gives me my sweet, sweet Arcana chest. Who I have no actual way to hit. No. Oh, bully. Well, I can slowly will you down this way. No. Well, that's bad. And you get knocked back more because of the garlic. Oh, well, I sort of guess that's my option. Wait for you to respawn in front of me. Stalker's getting slowed down by the sheer number of mobs in the way. That's helpful in a strange, strange circumstantial way. Here's my Arcana skull. Maybe I should just go up. I mean, it's my safest option, damage-wise. You know, Stalker's just gonna show up right in front of my face and take me out anyway. Okay, let's see if I can put some damage on you since Stalker has apparently gone away. Not as much as I was hoping, but still. Yeah, there we go. Which one is it going to be? Unholy Vespers. Not bad. Excellent, in fact. It's falling already. Well, now that I think about it, without speed, it's got a bit of an issue. Still, it'll eventually start between the cooldown reduction and the unlimited duration. It will eventually start double spawning. Kana dropped yet? No. Ah, oh, the delays of the world. There we go. There was some nice bus saw action. Definitely looking like a victory already. Get a nice mid arcana to support this. And it'll be golden. Blue. Nope. Nada. Haha, -ha, no. That's a no. Nopey nope. Not this time. Not in your life. There we are. Ah, it does affect what I have with Song of Mana and Manjula. Right, I think there was another boss here, yeah. The little burning skeleton thing. Sweet, and now I get the manager. And things become very slow in the weird way this got changed. Instead of hitting full screen, it hits a pillar. I don't know why. Just to allow things on screen. It was really strange when I noticed it. And pull this replica. Oh, either way, Blood Astronomia, with what I have, basically means nothing's going to get in. And there is my Soul Eater. So now I have a lot of healing. Healing that gets even better. Well, actually no, Soul Eater barely heals you because it does so little damage. 
Well, unless you're soloing it, then it's fine. But really, most other weapons will get the KO point, so Soul Eater won't heal you as much as it should. Alright, do I want to mess with another Atlantean? That feels like a bad idea. It's one I'm compelled to do. Also, it means I'll keep my hands on the controller so I won't go down to any surprise boss getting up in my grill, like, right there. Or not, whatever else. Oh, right, it only heals you if you're actually damaged. That's causing more part of the issue. So by the time you have Soul Eater, most things usually aren't actually getting into you. Well, unless you're Pepino, and you can't move out of the endless starbursts that come for you. Boy, was that annoying. Just getting tore down. Am I getting anything out of that chest? Not a dang thing. All right, Drowner. I can t not take you out at all. In fact, I can't touch you. That's bad. Well, yeah, I guess it means I just keep going up. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to. S Wait, no, no, there is. I can run you into the blood of Stornomia. Which is probably the single worst way to take you out ever. But it's kind of all I have. And I can pile them up and then move you into them like that. Next level, strats. Also only level strats. When else are you ever going to have a situation this strange? And you usually have Candelabrador with this, so you have enough range to... Oh, I actually took him out with that. That's silly. Hey, I don't know if it worked. Then it's still stupid. He just got lucky. Ooh, a nice bunch of levels there. Hey, second Arcana. And awake off the bat. I know I'm not in much danger, but that can always change, and that will change, because those final waves are meaty. Well, not meaty, they're bony. And how boned would she be if I did not prepare correctly? Good couple minutes left, and it's time to start prepping the video. I already have the title in mind Three Ladies Step into the Bone Zone. Absolutely terrible. And it first came up in one of the Giovanna failure runs. God, I hope this wins. I really, really don't want to go through this stage again. In fact, I don't think there's anything I could do differently if this does fail. Like, switch out awake for um, something else. Tragic Princess, maybe? That would be about it. Heck, that wouldn't even be use. That would not be useful. Beginning, maybe? It's amazing not being able to move on this stage. Just look at them shooters not being able to do a dang thing. This is the real power of garlic. The ability to survive the bullet hell. You be the bullet hell? No, you defeat the bullet hell.
Now that's some classic vampire survivors on the screen right there. Not moving at all. Wow, that's bad. Oh, that's atrociously bad. Okay, one more arrive. Seven seconds. That's like four seconds in fake time. Whew. Awake has saved yet another run. Unholy Vespers, Manaja, and Soul Eater says hi. Still waiting on that Suga to remaster Konami. And with the greatest of efforts, three more characters have conquered the Bone Zone. Pagnala, Giovanna, and Papea have shown us how it's done. Yeah. Thanks for watching. That was an odyssey of surprisingly hard proportions. Next up, it's going to be Boss Rash with Conchetta, Mortachio, and Cavallo. Why does that feel like it's distinct? Probably. Anyway, thanks for watching. And thanks for any support you've given me. If you'd like to hit the like button or the dislike, leave a comment about any gimmick builds, or a subscription to the channel would be deeply appreciated. Thanks for all the kindness, have a good day, and keep mezzing around.